Hi, and welcome back. I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. And this is We Ride Motos. All right, in this episode, sorry, every time you see me look down, it's because I have notes. I don't remember where we went. <laughs> so, uh, this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to head up and see some paragliders. So we're getting ready to go first thing in the morning. And it was kind of nice because we had underground parking on this one and the bike did. was safe and secure. Okay, today we're headed um, just a few kilometers west to um, a little town called Ortse and we're going to take a cable car up the mountain to see the Sacheta Range. Yeah, we think we're saying that right. It's, I don't, I'm not sure we are. <laughs> but. So we, we left early because there's no parking at this it's basically a bottom of a ski lift and you get on the, the gondola and you ride up to the top and and it's super popular with the paragliders so they and hikers and, and the hikers yeah. and and everybody right so we just we had to go there paid for parking which i hate to do but we did that usually on the motorcycle they have dedicated motorcycle parking and usually there's no charge for that but it wasn't yeah, the case at this not place. Not at the ski hill, no yeah. motorcycle parking there. <laughs> the ride up to the top of the hill is divided into two rides on the cable cars. The first one is from Ortse to uh, Fierns, I think it's called. And that one was just beautiful. It was just a gentle slope up the hill over the meadows and the little farms below. And it's all mowed. They mow the slopes. It's just yeah, absolutely incredible. I really want to try to catch one of these guys mowing it because Some of it's, it's really steep. Yeah. And I don't know how they do it. So I'm going to yeah. catch somebody and I'll get it on video one day. Yeah, so it was just a beautiful ride up. The vistas were just incredible. got off at that one it was a smaller cable car the first one and then you walk a little ways and you get on the next one which is quite a large cable car that goes up and it's much more dramatic much steeper uh glenn was taking a little stepping so he doesn't like the height yeah <laughs> you know it's it's like one or two towers it's just yeah. you just get on you hit the first tower and then it's just a clear span yeah. right to the top and it's just straight off. really really amazing and spectacular yeah. very dolomites yes <laughs> So stepping out when you get off the cable car at the top of the mountain was just, it takes your breath away. It was so amazing, the sights that you yeah, were met with. It was pretty much 360 degrees of really quite spectacular yeah. mountains. And being from British Columbia in Canada, we have nice mountains, but these are just, yeah. just, just different. They're just super jagged and, and they just Something coming right else. out of the ground. And then the, sloping meadows and all mowed and yeah, yeah. the mowing was and again. the little huts all dotted on the 
um, slope. It was just absolutely breathtaking. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. We should have checked it out because it, I think you can rent those little ski huts because some of them were in use and I think you can rent them. So in the cable cars, we ended up riding up with a group of parasailers that were from Germany, I, I think. I think they were from Germany, yeah. And they were doing a tour of all the great spots in the Dolomites to Yeah, so like you and I, from. we get on the bikes and we hit all the great rides. Yeah. They got on their parasailers and hit all the great yeah. flights. So they had their big backpacks with their parasail in the back and we had a nice chat with them. It was it was quite interesting to talk about uh, to talk about that with them. So when we got up to the top, we noticed on the knoll there was some other parasailers getting ready to go so we had to hike over there and and watch them as they prepared to go and take off and it was wow it looks really fun it does look fun yeah. but the idea of hanging from a spaghetti string mm. yes So once we left our parasailing guys, we hiked up along the ridge line, uh, along with some of the other crowds and stopped at a, a viewpoint, I guess. And they had it laid out with, uh, you know, Madrid and the different different cities that were in the distance. And, and we were kind of interested to see the one from Madrid because that's ultimately where we would end up on this trip. And yeah, it was 1,370 kilometers away, I think. So, yeah, yeah. so we could kind of gaze in that direction and we had uh, a few miles to Yeah, to in make. Canada, that'd be like a two days ride tops <laughs> here. It's just going to take us a little longer. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> so we continued along the ridge line, and um, Glenn may have left his mark on a pole along the way. Uh, what do you mean by mark? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds wrong. I left a sticker. <laughs> So apparently, um, this is the Instagram shot that has made this um, destination so popular. And I must say, it's definitely a, a worthy destination. Yeah, it makes for a really nice, you know, a nice uh, half a day hike. And you can, well, you can go a lot farther than we did, but it's, yeah, you get up the top of the mountain and it's... So we hiked along with the crowds and found kind of a quiet spot a bit of moment to ourselves. And, uh, and then continued up past a little fence where a lot of people just turned around and we kind of went around it. And a little further up where it was a little quieter and just sat down and enjoyed the views. So. Yeah, it was very, very peaceful, very beautiful at yep. that spot. So yeah, so once we once we had our, our quiet sit, we hiked back. Sit, we hiked back and thought, well, we'll check out one of the restaurants. It was up there and and uh, got a chair and sat down and the waiter came along and he handed me the menu and oh, yeah we weren't eating on the top of the mountain yeah. today uh, 
Looked good, but man, was it expensive. It was a little pricey. Yeah. I mean, it's a long ways to have to bring all that it up is, there, I guess, but... so you can appreciate that. But wow, what a beautiful place. Beautiful views. Yeah. 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 Pretty gorgeous. On the hike back to the cable car station, I got distracted by these adorable cows. She, you'll notice a theme in these. Yeah. There's always a cow on every I, hike, and I she's got to get a picture I of just, the cow. I just love to see them out in the meadows, yeah. on the mountain. It just seems more natural place. Well, maybe yeah. not a natural habitat, but it. Well, it's for them. I think if I was a cow, I'd like. If you're riding there, there, though, you got to watch out for the leftovers behind the cows and the horses because yeah. they leave uh, the, they leave their remnants on the road. The ones that are on range for yeah. sure. Yeah. We took a few more minutes to soak in the sights before we kind of reluctantly yep, back down the went down the hill. Um, we stopped by the grocery store on the way back and picked up our own little charcuterie and we enjoyed that back uh, at the... We do that quite often. Yeah. Yeah. And so, Glenn was our barista. Yeah, in Europe they have them little coffee pots and I yeah, used them percolated. last time and I did it all wrong and someone told me this time that they make a good cup yeah, of coffee. Yeah, so, so that was kind yeah. of fun. After, after we had a little rest, we headed out to check out some more of the town. It's, it's kind of an adorable little town, so... We're in a ski town. It's yeah. all it's definitely set up for, for the, the mountain bikers or pedal bikers and the skiers. Mm -hmm. Those of you that like beer, maybe you can tell me is this a German beer that I'm drinking? I'm not sure. Yeah. It's I, I just picked one off the shelf. It was good, but uh, don't know what I was drinking. Yeah. So for all you beer people, there's one for you. So that wraps up today, and then we're gonna get ready for tomorrow. We're off to see a little church, a uh, bit of a hike. I think we get lost on the way there a little bit. And uh, so yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.